Welcome to the very first episode of Prague to Pebble Beach or Bust. And I thought it appropriate to start the show right here in a little town called Kopsegnica in the Czech Republic, where as you can see, the Tatra plant is and where the very first Tatras were built. And that is coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. Tatra is in fact the third oldest car company in the world. First is Mercedes, second is Peugeot, and third is Tatra because of this. The Tatra president built back in 1897. But the company itself, Tatra, has roots going back in coach building to 1850. But you know what? We don't care about these older Tatra models. What we care about are the more modern ones, the pre-war ones. What brings us here to Tatra, to the Czech Republic, is really this car, the T77, made back in 1936, right before the Second World War. It is the first aerodynamically mass-produced car ever built. It came with a V8 that was capable of driving the car up to about 145 kilometers, produced 60 horsepower, and when it was new, cost about 1,000 pounds in the UK. Today, if you can get your hands on one of these, about $2 million. But, that's not the end of the story. What really put Tatra on the map was not the 77. They didn't build a whole heck of a lot of them, but this car, the Tatra 87. This was really the production version of the 77. It had an air-cooled V8. It was capable of 100 kilometers an hour and it was as good as any European car in the day maybe even better because it was aerodynamic notice the fin on the back I know it may not look that cool right now but back in the day this was the Ferrari of its time this is a Tatra 600 S and what makes it unique is that it's basically a Tatra plan but it was given to Joseph Stalin for his 70th birthday they cut the top off they made it a much more sleek and modern car, and it was returned here to the Tatra Museum back in 1976. Chances are, if you've ever heard of Tatra, it's not because of the cars they produce. Let's face it, the most famous cars were built pre-World War II, and the newer cars were built and sold mainly in the Eastern Bloc. No, it's because of this, the Tatra 815. It's a truck that won the Perry Dakar Rally back in 1988, at least the truck division. And Tatra has always built trucks, and they still build trucks, and they're sold around the world. Now this is a truck. Back in 1999, it traveled all the way around the world. It traveled 150,000 kilometers. And best of all, it's a six by six. That's right, it's six wheel drive. This makes the TFL long-term Raptor look like a toy by comparison. This is a Tatra 603, and this is a car that we've come here to see because this is a car, well not this one, but one similar that we'll be driving from Prague to Pebble Beach. built from 1957 until 1975 and the car that we're buying is a 1968 model. It has a V8 which is mounted behind the rear wheel so it should have some wicked snap oversteer. So will that engine be reliable enough to take us all the way 
from Prague to Pebble Beach? Well, by all accounts, it was pretty agrarian in nature because let's face it, under the communist, the Czech Republic was not batting a thousand. Looks like a big hunk of metal to me. And hopefully, this is as close as I'll ever get to one because if we have to take the Tatra apart somewhere in Nebraska, getting parts for a 603 engine is gonna be very tricky indeed. And that is probably my biggest concern when we actually head out for Pebble Beach. but I cannot wait to get my hands on it to drive it for the very first time. And that is coming up next on the second episode of From Prague to Pebble Beach. So join me as we actually get our hands on the car that will be driving thousands of miles across two continents. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fastlane Car. Thanks for watching. Remember, check out tflcar.com for more news, views, and reviews. Ciao.